Let's now look at the application in Visual Studio. My project has folders and in the root some files. These files are the output of the Shaka compiler. These files will execute the application. The Chaka config file allow to configure the compiler. In the app folder we have the file app.css which will contain the styles of the application. This file is the minifit version of the file. The app.init.js file is dedicated to initialize jQuery Mobile and will also contain global constant. To support HTML5 offline mode, you must create a manifest file. The Chaka compiler will create the final manifest file. In the custom.manifest file, you should only add your own image file. In the folder images we have startup.png which will be our starting page when the application is loading on iOS only. On iOS you also have to define different type of icons for iOS version 3, version 4 and iPad. The libraries folder contain special JavaScript libraries. The model folder contains the JavaScript classes of your application. You can throw any JavaScript file. In this application, we are dealing with the concept of patient visit. Therefore, I have a JavaScript class called visit. I have a constructor, method, static method, and enum type. In the page folder, we have three dialogues or pages. For each page, we have the UI implemented in an HTML file and the code behind implemented in a JavaScript file with the same name. For the option page, the code behind is implemented in CoffeeScript, which is supported by the Chaka compiler. Let's look at the visit page HTML file. Here we have the HTML as jQuery mobile expected. A combo box and a button OK. Let's look at the code behind for the page. Here we have a JavaScript class named VisitPage. The first method is named butok underscore click. The checkout runtime will implement the binding between the OK button in the UI and the method. We have an event name page load call when the page will load. Here we override the method show to add some custom code and an event name page activated call each time the page is displayed. And we add some code to populate our dialog. The template folder contains template files used by the Chaka compiler to finalize the HTML and JavaScript of the application. Now I can simply press F5 and my application will be compiled and executed in the default browser. Chrome or Firefox are best to develop.